Coming up this weekend is the Star City Film Festival. It'll take place uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Lansing. Here to talk about the event is Katie O'Regan. Uh, haven't had you on since uh, last year's uh, film festival, Katie. It's been too long. My apologies. <laughs> Hi, Darren. I'm so happy to be here. It seems like it was just a minute ago that we had this conversation about last year's film festival, right? Wild. It's just wild. This is our fifth season already for the film festival. Yeah, crazy. Love how it. the how the original idea to uh, start this festival, uh, how did it come to fruition? I had a dream. I was uh, working in, in Spring Grove uh, at Giants of the Earth Heritage Center. I was an independent contractor for them. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I said, we should do a film festival in the Midwest. You know, I just moved back. I lost my mama and, um, and all my friends in, in New York and across the country who were doing films. And and, and I, I thought, you know, maybe we should bring them here. And I just, I threw that out um, to everybody. And they're like, huh, how do you do that? I said, I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. So we figured it out. And then I got another dream and I was like, what if we had Ed Asner? He's an iconic dude. <laughs> and amazing and, and and by the grace of god it's just crazy how it all worked out but um that's how it started and then and then i left and i, I always worked for sacred noise society for my company for years i've always been the founder and you know artistic director of it um and then i left giants of the earth because the pandemic happened and you know there was nothing going on and so i just decided to because it was my film festival to begin with i just decided to keep it going and everything just happened from there and um, I just keep doing it every year and every year it gets uh, bigger and more interesting. This year, it's really all about um, the filmmakers that are coming. We have a lot of filmmakers coming this year. Uh, we have like 33 films and more than half of the filmmakers are going to come. And then we have script writers and we're doing some live staged readings of their brand new scripts that have never been films at the Red Barn Inn on Friday night, which is a new thing uh, for me this year which is very exciting. How did you decide on Lansing being this year's location? You know, I did it in Spring Grove. I did it in Caledonia. I did it in Wakan, and I love all three of those towns very much. And I did it in Sheboygan and I love Sheboygan as well. But Lansing, it's kind of like this sort of epicenter of, you know, it's right by the Mississippi. There's beautiful places to stay. It's not far from either one of those towns, except for Sheboygan, which is four hours away. Um, and I live in Wakan now. Uh, as my permanent home, I renovated all, uh, an old house, which we're just finishing up for the Sacred Noise Society uh, headquarters. And I just, I've always loved Lansing. I grew up going there with my with my family. We would drive to see our grandparents and walk on and go across the bridge. And I always had wonderful, fond memories. And I love, love the people there. And it just works. TJ Hunters is going to be the head headquarters on Saturday. It's a beautiful beautiful event center right on main street and then lansing works which marion baldwin started which is amazing space for people to come and do to bring their office into lansing you know temporary and she's remarkable she's been very helpful and she by the way is going to play in her trio for the red carpet on saturday night marianne baldwin mm -hmm. in the house while we while we all get dressed up this background music and then we're gonna, you know, do some red carpet pictures and everybody gets dressed up and that's what's gonna happen. And then we do Painting Jane, my feature film. And I do a little talk back and then we have some more music and we have some, some, you know, people can drink and, you know, talk and chat, and dance, you know, jump in the river, I don't know. <laughs> and <laughs> looking at uh, the uh, notes uh, that you provided uh, with the festival overview, uh, you mentioned 40 filmmakers and script writers were chosen. How does that process uh, come to fruition? Uh, how how were these uh, filmmakers chosen to come to Lansing this weekend? You know, I work on the festival for about a year um, and people submit from all over the country and the world uh, their films, uh, short films and feature films on Film Freeway. And I, um, I have a mission with the film festival to have a certain type of film that's inspirational, that's very, um, that's very, uh, you know, diverse, but really inspiring and artistic. And um, I choose the films based upon that merit. Upon I don't want one kind of film. There's lots of comedy this year, lots of really quirky, interesting comedy, lots of shorts. 
Um, and then the features that that I chose are just really profound and just they just deserve to be shown. And so I my mission is to help other artists because I am one myself and I know what it takes to do what they do. They spend their money and their time and 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 their their livelihood, their everything to do this. And and I saw so it's really a it's a gift for me to to give them a platform. I love my filmmakers. I get to know them and they're they're wonderful. And I have to ask out of my own in, I- ignorance, uh, define a short film, define a documentary, define a f- feature film. How are they the same? How are they different? That's a great question. That's not, that, that's, that's a, thanks for asking that question. A short film. Well, yeah, absolutely. A short film is considered anything from, you know, one minute until usually, you know, 35, 40 minutes. Yeah. Um, a, a documentary is often, a documentary is a documentary of real life. Okay. Um, and that's usually about, eh, it can, you can do a short doc, short documentary or a regular documentary. Documentaries are, can be anything 45 minutes to, you know, two hours. Um, but they're based upon, they're not scripted. A documentary is not scripted. A feature scripted film is one that, you know, a writer wrote and actors act. Um, and that's that's the that's a really big difference between a feature film is, is always has to be over an hour. Um, and then it can be up to, you know, three hours, but it's usually an eh, hour, 45 minutes, hour 30, something like that. My feature is uh, painting Jane is an hour, 37 minutes. Um, and then you have, you know, the different categories that we choose. You know, is it a comedy film? Is it a Wisconsin filmmaker? Is it an Iowa filmmaker? Is it um is that I have a really cool category that is very close to my heart. I have um, autism, uh, uh, sorry, I can't, autism, <laughs> autistic filmmakers category. And we get some amazing films from people that are really gifted um, who have uh, talk about autism or deal with it. And it's, you know, to me, it's not a handicap. It's really a gift. That's what I think of autism. So, uh, you know, you don't know if the filmmaker has autism or not. It's not a thing. Oh, there's Lacey. There's my little dog, Lacey, who's at the star of my film. Hi, Lacey. <laughs> anyway, that's a category. I have a, I have a um, special fondness for um, family friendly films. I, I always say I don't want to show any film that a kid couldn't come to. Although it's definitely an adult film festival, there's not there's not a child's category. Mm-hmm. Uh, the children are certainly welcome. There's probably only one that's a little bit more adult, uh, but it's not, you know, there's not anything that family can't come to. And this is in our region. It's not, I would do this. It's not just because of we're the Midwest, because there's people from all over the country coming. Um, for me, it's just about, it's my mission with Sacred Noise Society, which is my company. Tell us about painting Jane without giving away uh, too many uh, spoilers. <laughs> well, painting Jane is, it started out as Good Morning Miss America, and then we changed the name to Painting Jane for copyright issues. And I worked on it uh, for about four years on this film. I first did it as a play, um, and we're I'm really lucky that we are getting you know attention. We're on Prime Video now, just a few months ago, all across the uh, the world, and we also have distribution coming up all across the world, which on different platforms. I played Jane in it. I wrote it. I produced it. I directed it. I wrote this um, all the songs for it, and I sang all the songs. And I, I swept all the floors. Mm. But that being said, I had an amazing, amazing shout out to Diana, Angelina, and you know, all my all my cast, uh, everybody who is phenomenal at it, really, you know. Oh, Lacey. Lacey saying, I'm in it, mom. <laughs> it's in eleven different scenes. Everybody who's in it um is really fabulous. And it's it's my passion to to uh support other filmmakers. And now I have all the you know, the film equipment and and uh and Lacey wants to be in another feature so there we go i also want to shout out for t t meyer is a script reading that we're doing um that i'm also an actress in that i got cast in and we're doing we're going to do live staged reading with the cast from t meyer friday night that's going to be really fun um and then also we're having we're showing two two films at the red barn as well um, after we do stage readings for like two and a half hours with live actors, I'm going to be one of them. Um, we're doing two films with a big blow up screen outdoors. It's going to be really fun. One is in a really cool bike adventure, um, award-winning filmmaker from Minneapolis. Um, and the next one is a really cool war movie. Um, Burnt, you hear you, Burnt is coming, who's in it. And he won best actor in Iowa this year. And so 
we have a really interesting, cool lineup of amazing filmmakers and writers coming this year. And I'll ask you, uh, reflecting on uh, your production of Painting Jane, but I think uh, your story is probably similar to a lot of the filmmakers that will be coming here this weekend. You mentioned mm -hmm. Painting Jane was a four-year process to put everything yeah. together. How rewarding is it to see all that work uh, come together in a finished product? I'd imagine your story would be very similar to a lot of people that will be uh, showing off their films this weekend. Is that fair to say? Yeah, it's really bizarre to see your, you know, your your face and your work and your acting and your and your directing and your up on the big screen. I just just last Sunday I got a painting. Jane was um, shown in Vinton at the beautiful Palace Theater. They invited me to come down and I did a talk back and I got to speak to the audience and it was really warming um, for me. I just like to my mission is just to inspire people. I'm just a gal who's you know born and raised in Northeast Iowa. And, been a gypsy across the country as an actor and a singer and a dancer and a mm -hmm. painter and um coming back home i i really feel for the rest of my life I'll, I'll just do this to help other people open up to their own creative voice which is what sacred noise society means it's the sacred noise that's your own very creative voice within and we all have one and we're often really afraid to use it um because it can be really it's really you have to be really vulnerable to let to open up your heart and say, Hey, here, everybody. Um, I'm doing this for you. I don't know if you're going to like it, but this is, this is what I got. This is my story. Hope you like it. And it's a, uh, it's terrifying sometimes for people to do that. And, and I, as, and I'm no different. I, I worry about what people think sometimes. Um, I usually, I'm, I'm really lucky. I get a lot of love from people and I give a lot of love from people, but you know, it's, it's hard. You're scared that people aren't going to like it. Or you're going to, you know, so it's just, it's just that I think everything we do as human beings has that element to it. And I think we filmmakers and you, you as a wonderful, you know, public figure every day on the radio, you know, you probably experience, do you experience anything like that? I, I, think, I think it's very true because like so often, like I'm afraid to give like a hardcore opinion on anything. Yeah. And, Sometimes I'm afraid to be me because I always try to showcase other people in pretty much everything I do. And I feel that's a lot of my mission as a broadcaster and a media figure. But uh, also the, per the, the voice people are listening to the most when it comes to news and sports on our stations is me. So it's, it's where, where, where is it? Right. Yeah, yeah, where is that at happy medium? And I think uh, I can relate, definitely relate to that. I guess I'll ask you. Uh, how do you get to that point? Is it just a case of just being comfortable with yourself and saying, here I am world. Uh, here, here I am. Let's uh, have some fun. Yeah. I think when you, when you come um, as an artist and a public figure like yourself, um, undefended, you know, you know, we're born to be who we are. And if you're doing something that you feel is, is what you're meant to do, then you know you one can't make apologies for it. And so, I this is what I've been I've done my whole life. I've I've done this my entire entire life. And so, I came to realize in answer to your question that um, you know I just accepted that's what I do. You know it's not an easy path in life. You know I worked in corporate America. I live I I've done you know big jobs. I have a you know doctor doctorate in education, and I've done all those kinds of things and. You make more money doing those things, but um, but I sleep well and I have a blast and I love who I made and you know just got to be you. You have to have faith. You have to have faith in yourself and you have to have faith that your what your heart desires is what you're really supposed to do. And when people say, "Oh gosh, I have to find my purpose in life," and I say, "Well, you're probably doing what your purpose is. You just don't you don't accept that's what your purpose is." I I, th I think that's very well put. And I also think like just me personally, as you get older, you get more comfortable doing that because yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in my middle forties and at this time, I'm probably not going to change too much. Uh, moving. Well, I hope you don't stop doing what you do. You do, you do a phenomenal job. You well, I, so many people. And, and I, and I, and I thank you for that, but just as a person, you just accept who you are at this age. And if you don't by now, it's just like, well, you're going to be a, treading down a path uh, 
or treading down a river without a path. So, oh, treading down a river without a path. That's that's really true. That's that's brilliant. You know, it, it's it's you know, you support so many people, and um, I if you don't support people, this I really believe this. If you do, if you do it just for yourself, it's it's never fun, and it it, it doesn't work. If you support other people. It doesn't come back to you automatically. Sometimes, it, and for some people, it never comes back to you. But something else comes of it, and it's the bigger picture that we have no idea, and that's the surprise and wonder of of living. Mm -hmm. And without what do we have? You know, if we know exactly what if we say, okay, we're going to do this, and this is how it's going to look, and this is what who we're going to hang out with, and this is who we're going we're to be with. You know, there's no surprise and wonder. You know, God's unanswered prayers. I really believe in that, you know, the thing we want sometimes the most is not the thing we're supposed to do or get. Yeah. And when we serve other people, pleasant surprises happen and our, and our purpose is used for the greater good. And so um, with this festival, I, I mean, the, if someone would have told me I would be doing this 10 years ago, I would be like, what? <laughs> but here we go. And, it, and, you know, it works really great. And wait till you see the people that are coming to town that have never been to this part of the beautiful God's country in Northeast Iowa, you know, they'll love it. We have repeat, we have uh, returning filmmakers as well, which is really exciting for me. And it's, it's fabulous. It's going to be a great time. I'm really excited to do the, the, the live staged readings at the Red Barn Resort. So we're doing, um, so we're just giving actors like the script and they've never read the script before. So it's called a cold read. Okay. And so the audience knows it's cold read and we have microphones and, you know, stage there and uh, they've been great at the Red Barn in and, you know, oh, thanks to our sponsors, Current Brothers too, Lansing. Lansing is just showing up. Current Brothers, you're awesome. Val, Val Reinke from Almakey County. Uh, she's showing up and doing a wonderful thing. Thank you for the sponsorship on that. Um, like I said, Marianne, Red Barn in and just, oh, actually, there's going to be some amazing Ukrainian food. Oh. Which Lesia, who has the frame shop in Lansing, they're they're going to serve Ukrainian food all day Saturday and Sunday. So got to come buy some wonderful yummy Ukrainian food, delicious. Support the cause, man. It's uh -huh. delicious. I ordered a couple weeks ago. It's yummy for sure. And anything so. anything yummy is uh, should be uh, catered to all people. Uh, let's get back yeah. to uh, the festival itself for those that. Uh, that uh, want to come to Lansing uh, this weekend, what's the best uh, way to uh, get all the information? Uh, what are admission charges? What are this? What are that? T give us all the details on that and the things. So it's $45 for the entire weekend, which includes all the films, the red carpet, um, Sunday award ceremony. We're having in more, more films. So it's a three-day festival. We have an award ceremony, which the uh, the filmmakers get to find out which award they won if they won one. Um, so if you just want to come Friday night and not come to the red carpet, if you're doing something else that night, it's $20 to come Friday night and Saturday. And you can also come on Sunday. Um, and if you just want to come to the red carpet, you just want to come see the beautiful, hear the beautiful music and, you know, hang out, take some red, put your pretty dress on and, and watch painting Jane and, you know, have some fun little party after, then that's $25. Uh, sacrednoisesociety.org. You can buy it online. And so it's, there, there's a donation. So if you want to buy four tickets and it says donate, you put, you know, four times 45, right? Mm -hmm. And then you put that in and you push the button and you get an email. Or you can buy them at the door too. It'd be great if you did it online. That way we know how many people, because we have a lot of people coming on Saturday night. Um, but hey, I really want to uh, tell people if they can't, for some reason, afford 20 bucks and they got four people that want to come see those films, please. That's, we don't, we're a nonprofit organization. It's more about having the filmmakers films be shown uh, than it is because you know what people always come. We always, we always have enough. We always have enough money. So if you can't afford something, come out, email me, let me know and come on. But, or, and if you can't afford it, please double your ticket price and give lots more to help other people that can't. And uh, forty-five dollars for a full weekend of entertainment uh, here in two thousand twenty-three. Uh, you can't get a better deal than that. Yeah, you can't. I wanted to make it affordable for people. Yeah, you know, and the filmmakers. I I don't charge the filmmaker that comes in. The director gets free ticket, and if they bring other people, they they, 
you know, pay something, but I never charge filmmakers because they, they give us enough. They come across the country. They do amazing things. So if you see a filmmaker around at the festival, tell them, thank you. We also have t-shirts um, to sell and they're going to be $25 each. Some really cool, this color t-shirt um, okay. and hats uh, that say the film festival on it. So please come support that. It's going to be just a hoot. It's going to be super chill. I'm just going to try to enjoy the, the wonderful moments with everybody. Um, uh, because I have a certain piece about it. Um, this year I lost my daddy um, and it's dedicated to him this year. So, oh, and we're lighting the Lansing Bridge, by the way. The Lions Club does this. On Friday nights, we're lighting the beautiful Lansing Bridge that crosses the Mississippi in honor of Ed Asner, who was our honor, you know, honor ceremony master, master of ceremonies, I just said that wrong. So Ed, this is for you because we lost him, you know, not that long ago. And he would be here this year too, if he was alive. So Friday night, we're lighting the bridge for Ed Asner. And we have some vintage t-shirts from our first two festivals with his face on it that you could buy. Uh, and then uh, Saturday night, we're lighting the bridge for my daddy, Francis James O'Regan. And uh, it's a special film festival this year. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh... Anything we're missing? Anything else you want to pass on that we haven't touched upon? I just want to uh, encourage everyone to come. If you can't come for the whole festival, you know, come for a few films. Um, uh, come to the Red Barn if you like outdoor, you know, thing. Or if you want, if you love stage theater, we're gonna have some. If you want to volunteer, get a hold of me on sacrednoisesociety.org. Um, I know Adam Hooten. Shout out to you. We're gonna come bring your guys from and girls from Wolfpack maybe to volunteer to help. Um, so I don't know. You're going to see some interesting people. And we do talkbacks on Sunday. Um, Keith Kelly's doing a really beautiful film, very inspirational on Sunday at Lansing Works. And he's going to do a talkback. He's an actor and a, and a director that you shouldn't miss. Also, um, we're doing a, another talkback film about Black Hawk. At, um, that's an original, interesting thing to listen to. Um, at TJ Hunter's with the filmmaker and he has a book that he sells too. And um, I don't know, there's just some really, it, it's hard to say if you look at the, if you look at the program, there's going to be more details online. You could go to Sacred Noise Society and look at, click for the films and the times. Um, there's going to be more detail in the next couple of days about each film. Okay. But I would say, you know, come and watch the films that you would think you'd like, you know, the short, cool, interesting quirky films you know because you learn something they're all they're very they're very provoking and they're not we got we got a horror film by megan fitzgerald gerald gosh i can't talk today megan <laughs> Fitz, mr fitzgerald um and she's one of my uh returning filmmakers she, she does a horror movie and she's brilliant at it um so there's there's something for everyone i think we have a great comedian he's coming from new jersey he's got a short short film we're showing on saturday night he's hilarious it's adorable. He's going to stand up and talk about it right before we do painting Jane. Oh. That's interesting. I, I have to ask one final deep probing question. Yeah. How tough is Lacey's agent to deal with? Lacey's agent is Lacey's, Lacey's agent. Oh my gosh. This little boopsie. Hi, boopsie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Lacey. Look Lacey's agent mama is just kid this. She just loves the baby girl. <laughs> She's quite a good girl. Yeah, you a good girl. She was the star of the show when we at Vinton. I took her up on stage with me because, you know, she's in 11 scenes. And she was so cute when the audience applauded for me. She I I curtsied and then and then I said, Lacey, can you curtsy? And she went boop, like and it popped right up like a curtsy. I was like, oh my wow. God, you are such a ham, Lacey. <laughs> just like she's mom pregnant. right so. <laughs> yeah just like mom that's exactly right she's gonna be turned uh three in a few weeks her three-year-old yeah she just said rough are you a pretty girl <laughs> did you hear that i did yeah yeah, yeah. She, she she usually answers to, to to treats and pretty girls hi all right well katie we appreciate you taking the time to tell us about the uh thank you so much for having uh, me. Uh, Coming up, I, you, I wish you could come to the film festival. Can you do? That? Can you come this year? Well, uh, we'll see what the schedule goes. I got uh, myself a wedding on uh, Saturday, and and uh, we'll see uh, see how the weekend goes, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, definitely keep that in mind. But uh, 
Anyway, uh, the Star City Film Festival coming up uh, this uh, weekend in Lansing. SacredNoiseSociety.org is the place to go, and we appreciate uh, Katie O'Regan telling us uh, all about it. And uh, Lacey as well. Sorry for not leaving. All right. 